Hello all, welcome to Tech Tapture. So in this our series in Python with Google Cloud, today we are going to see with how we can deal with BigQuery using a Python. As everyone knows, if you are working in a field of data, then you cannot run away from Python. And similarly, if you are working in a GCP, then BigQuery is a data warehousing tool which is used in a Google Cloud. So BigQuery is useful for processing and analyzing large data sets and it will allow us to run a complex queries with a very high speed. So in this video, we are going to see a very simple operation in BigQuery. So we'll see how we can create a BigQuery data set using Python. We'll see how we can create a BigQuery table using Python. And then we'll see how we can load a CSV file from our GCS bucket to the BigQuery table using a python so here we are not using any kind of a gcp service we are only using a gcs bucket and csv file from gcs bucket and then we are loading it into the bigquery table using a python script so we have another solution in a google cloud that is like you can use a composer or you can use a data flow job or a data fusion but here we are using only a python script and then We'll see how we can extract data from BigQuery table and load into the GCS bucket as a CSV file. So here also I am not using any of these native GCP tool for extracting the data like data flow or data fusion. I am simply using the Python. So I'll go to my Python scripts and we'll show you how I, how I am written the script. Okay, so just go to my screen now. Okay, so uh, this is my main file. So I have created kind of module here called data analytics Inside I have this my main file and I have this variable file. So in variable files I have few variables like project a data set ID a table ID a source bucket and a destination bucket. So I'll be using a source bucket to Store my source file. So let me show you here So I'll be using a source bucket to store my source file here currently there are no source file and i will be using my destination bucket when i will extract a data from bigquery then i will store this file in the destination bucket so currently there are also no files so also i am not having any bigquery table which i will be creating now so what i will be doing i will calling some functions here so first i'll call a create bq function which will create my data set and table then i'll generate some data so currently i do not have data handy so everything happen in a runtime so my table will be created runtime my data will be generated runtime and i'm calling a function with this number so this number means a number of records i want so currently suppose if i want a 10 records i can just pass 10 into this function and it will create csv file with 10 records and load into the gcs bucket then i have another function load bq which will use that file which is generated here which will use that file and it will load that data into my bq table and then i will extract the same data and i will give the file name as a different like extract csv and i will put it into the destination bucket so here i will collect file from source bucket and load into the bigquery here i'll extract so i'll just go to a one by one in each function and i'll show you how i am creating all these functions so first i'll go to create a bq so in create bq i am simply getting the variable name as a uh, data set id and a table id and this is my schema so here i want these column names in my bigquery table so suppose id name email description this is kind of a user data i am getting and i'll be loading the csv file in the same format so currently i am creating the bigquery empty table with these column names and my data set id here so it will also check if it is already exists it won't create again so it will just say it is already exist so this is simple python code i have written and then we'll see what is a next function next function is a generate data so what i am doing this generate data function return a one file name and this file name i am passing to load bq function so let me go to the generate data for so in this generate data i am using one python library called faker which is used to generate a fake data so you can generate dummy kind of data for all data types so here i am generating the data with these data types you could see i am generating for id name email 
so I'm using this instance of a fecal library here okay and I'm generating some dummy data so how much data it will generate the number of rows I am passing into the function so currently if I am passing the 10 it will generate only 10 rows if I am passing 100 it will generate a hundred rows and then I have load BQ so once this data is generated it will return the file name okay so it is written the file name of the data generated and this file name I am using into this load BQ job so here my function is accepting file name as an input and it is finding that file in a storage bucket and it is loading into the BigQuery table so again this is a simple configuration I created for the load job I am creating a load job so if even if you look into your BigQuery you can create a file from uh, create a table from your GCS file the same operation I am doing using my Python so I am creating a simple load job and I am using the file okay so once it is loaded what I am doing next I am extracting this data and let me go to the extract.py so here I am again extract load I am creating the extract job and using extract job I am extracting all data from table and I am storing into the GCS bucket so this is a location of my GCS bucket where my data will be stored okay so this is the destination bucket now before I run anything let me show you so currently nothing is there in destination bucket nothing is there in source bucket and what are the data set id i have mentioned in my variable files so pi table is table name and pi data set so this is also not present here so what i will do i will execute my code and we'll see if it gives an error or it will execute successfully so it is kind of a simple data pipeline i am creating here using a python without any a native service and my motive only is you should know how to do this basic operation in bigquery using a python that is how to load data into the bigquery table how to create a bigquery table how to create a data set and how to extract data from bigquery so these are the level one operation in bigquery which we have to do using a python so let's go and i'll execute main.py only so one thing here i missed so if you already following my playlist uh, you should know this i'm creating the service account key as my credential and giving the path here so you could see i'm giving the path of this key.json this is a credential i'm using and I, these all functions i am importing into my main file and even the variable okay so let me execute a main.py and it will start from this create bq so just follow the logs let me stretch it so we can see the logs okay i need to go into the data analytics So first it will create data set and a table so data set created table created file generated uploaded to storage bucket now it will load into the bigquery table and return the number of rows loaded you could say 101 rows loaded and even the data extracted from the table this table and loaded to the GCS bucket here okay so we'll see all the things one by one so first data set and table already exist it mentioned I think I missed to reload that page so let me reload and see if it is already exist then it will load the data it won't create uh, the data set and table again. Yeah, py data set already there. Okay, py table is already there. So let me try to, if it already there, it would have just appended the data. So let me see the number of records in the table. Yeah, 400 means it just appended the data what I will do I'll just delete the table 
and data set and I will show you again. So let me delete the data set as well and I will show the destination and source table there will be one file now because we loaded the data once and we extracted the data once. So this is the source let me refresh. Okay, so this is the file and let me show the file generated. So this is the file we generated how many records so we generated with Let me see how many records we generated We generated with 100 because I missed to save this file Okay, so I saved this file also now I'll run it again. Let me delete or even if I don't delete I am following the timestamp So it will have two files no worries. So what I will do. I'll just put 10 here generate data section And I will follow the process again. Let me clear Okay and let me run it again so it will create a data set and table now so created data set table data generated with 10 records now you could see earlier it was 100 because i couldn't save it now this file ending with one to upload it to source bucket and data extracted ending with 26 so let me see the data set and table first now so here if i execute now there will be 10 records in my table and yeah so there are 10 records which got loaded and if you could see there will be a data set and table created Yeah, PUI data set and PUI table. Okay, now let me show you the source and destination. So let me refresh. There will be one more file with a lesser size because now we have only 10 records. Yeah, so we have a lesser size file. Now if I go to a destination bucket, there will be two files, one with a hundred record and one with a 10 records. Yeah. So one with uh, 100 records and one with uh, 10 records. So we extract it also. So in this way we executed our complete uh, pipeline from creating the data, creating the table, loading the table and extracting the data from the table. So you can see the generated data files here also. So even if I execute this pipeline or this script again and again, it won't give me an error because it will keep appending the data so now it will again load 10 more records to the same table and it will extract that complete data to the bucket so now this bucket will have this data so it will have complete data now both the records 10 plus 10 because this extract is always of a complete table so now suppose if i load in main.py if i put 500 records let's see if it works properly it will just take a bit more time but let's see with 500 record okay so I'll execute it again. So table and data set would be already created. So it won't create again. Yeah, already exist. Data generated. File uploaded to GCS bucket as a source file. Now it will load to a BigQuery table as a destination. Yeah, loaded into the PY table. 
and extracted also so let's go and verify bigquery table so it should have more than 500 row around 520 yeah 520 you can see and we'll see in a storage bucket so extract will have complete a 520 records so this we are in destination yeah so this is having 42 kb means it is having complete a 520 records so in this way we can use python to interact with a big query so i'll share this code and meantime if you have any doubt you can let me know in comment section and we'll share more videos on python with a google cloud so thank you for watching this video